hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today i am going to uh, answer all the queries re regarding the source file and its validation so recently uh, one of my subscriber has asked me some queries regarding the source data and its validation so i have noted down some common question that could be come uh, while giving any interview so here i have noted down top five uh, question regarding the source file and in validation so i hope this all question would answer all your doubt so let's start one by one so first question is from where we get the source file so what happens sometime we have to prepare the source file similar to the source file format that is uh, being shared by the client so uh, mostly in, in most of the cases generally we receive the source file from the client itself okay so maybe you can answer this question like sometime we have to prepare the test uh, test uh, source file plus sometime we are getting from the client itself okay so next question is which all tool we require to process the source file sometimes the format of the source file is quite a uh, simple like simple text uh, format but sometime what happen we get the source file in parquet file so whenever you open that parquet file it's not uh, like human readable format so for that you need uh, either python or py uh, py you generally need pyspark to convert that file into a readable format means uh, suppose you get one parquet file okay now you have to process this file into a data frame data frame means in a row and column format row plus column formats means you have to convert that parquet file into a row plus column format means into a tabular format so that you can easily fetch the data so this is about the parquet file but sometime what happen we have to prepare the uh, test source file so uh, like in this format you can prepare this uh, test file like name age address city and country so these are called the header and the below values from the uh, second row uh, is a data for that corresponding um, columns so here uh, uh, name column address city and a city and country become a columns and these are the values for the corresponding uh, columns okay so this is about the uh, text format so format of a uh, source file could vary from project to project in some uh, project we get the uh, source file in text format in some parquet format and in some that could also be in excel format so these are the basic type of format uh, that generally we get uh, uh, from the client or sometime we have to prepare so now which all tools we require to process the source file sometime if the file is parquet file we need to uh, use a uh, pyspark to create the data frame and if you are using some other file format you may have to use some other tools as well and one more tool is there that is called win sap so basically win sap is an open source tool which is used to place um a local file on uh, in specific uh, server so this is how the win sap looks like so uh, first you have to mention the uh, file protocol select you have need to select the file protocol and after that you need to mention the host name port number username and password so uh, just to login into that server so once you get login you have to just drag and drop uh, your source file uh, that local uh, uh, local source file into that server and after that you have to process that file so to process that file maybe you can uh, trigger any azure pipeline or maybe sometime you can uh, process that um, you can process uh, to process that file you can also use stored procedure so it depends upon the organization 
organization to organization how you are going to process that file so this is how uh, this is all about the tools uh, and how we are uh, processing the source file so one specific tool is there winsap to place the file from local to server and uh, one more uh, method is there to uh, process the file is the help of uh, pyspark so this is how we are basically loading the data from uh, source file to the um, raw layer next one is, next question is frequency of getting the source file so frequency could also vary from project to project some projects are like um, um, on monthly basis they are receiving the source file and some like on a daily basis they are getting the uh, source file so it depends upon the uh, project so frequency could be a uh, like one month month or yearly as well or daily next question is after receiving the source file what all checks and validation need to be performed so uh, first we need to uh, check that whatever the number of count we have received um, in source file same set of uh, same the number of uh, records should get um, loaded into the uh, source uh, raw layer as well as the target layer so uh, the validation should be like counts check and after that the data correctness means whatever uh, data we have received in source file should also be present in the in the table as well so suppose in the source file the name is neha and but in the target table we some special characters also getting appended in the table so that kind of validation we have to perform that the target table should not contain any invalid data or incorrect um, data or sometime what happened the house go, uh, uh, due to some reason uh, house uh, that text got missing in the table so such kind of validation you have to perform for the data correctness and the next uh, next one is as i mentioned missing record and incorrect data so all such validation you have to perform uh, in the source file once the source guide get um, loaded into the uh, tables all these validation you have to perform next one uh, so suppose the all these scenarios are a positive scenario but uh, along with these you have to mention some negative scenarios as well like uh, that i'll tell you so all these validations are also very important suppose uh, the client has mentioned the source file name should be like uh, user name dot excel dot txt okay so the source uh, whatever file daily they are supposed to send to you it, the name of the file uh, should be is uh, username so you have to uh, prepare one scenarios we have where you have to give some incorrect uh, file name means you have to prepare one test file with the incorrect file name like test uh, one so in that case what should happen that the session or the job should not process that file because the file name is incorrect and one scenario you can prepare like uh, one source file without any data means you just remove all the all the data and try to process the file so in that case if the source file is empty in that case also job should um, should not get processed and it should uh, uh, um, generate some errors for that one so empty empty file okay so such kind of negative scenarios you have to prepare sometime you have to give a long text for the username so suppose in database they have defined some uh, limit for that column name like the limit 
the column length is like uh, 50 so in that case you have to give uh, a text uh, having uh, the length more than 50 okay so like this way you have to prepare some random test file and also just put some special character in between just to ensure that how the code is going to uh, process such kind of data so all these negative scenarios are very important to validate because in um, some cases what happen the source when you are getting millions of records some of some of the record that we are receiving in the source file might have some uh, incorrect data as well so uh, we have to make make sure that uh, the code that is um, built by the developer uh, should able to handle or such a, all such kind of data so i hope i have answered most of your questions so in case still you have some doubt just please uh, let me know thank you